Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and see what else we got in here. Dr. Franken. Well, I remember this being basically awful, so let's go find out just what it is. So then, Dr. Franken. I feel like we um, played the sequel to this at some point some number of years ago. Oh wow. <laughs> that sure is the thing. Okay, in inventory. Sure, nothing like that. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Zero percent complete, save game, reset last. And... Oh. Hitting any button on the map screen takes us out of the map screen. Okay, and yep, exit goes... Yep, that would go... Out this way, which brings us there. Okay, so what about this staircase, then? Oh yeah, that's, that is exactly how staircases work. That, that, that's how I get up to my second floor. I just hop on the chair, hop through the hole in the floor, and then hop up onto the staircase banister to then jump up the stairs. Because I can't walk up them. Oh, and the door's locked. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, um... Wow. I, I will say I remember seeing this in Nintendo Power and how it was kind of, you know, like an exploratory style. You can, um search around and find the things and do lots of different, uh, you know, find the, the I, I don't even, it just, it looked cool in Nintendo Power when I was like 10. <laughs> but, um, yeah, wow. Okay, so I can't, I, I, don't, I don't seem to be able to actually damage that thing. Going to assume that takes down energy and that gives energy. That's the correct assumption. Okay, so I don't need to bother with those quite yet. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. This, these controls. This is some kind. Oh, also blocked. Where, where the hell can we go then? Uh, that's where we were. This we can go through. Okay. Um. Okay. Can't kill the guy. Cannot harm the skeleton even. of walk past, see what we can deal with. I can't open that yet. Apparently we can only be told that uh, one side of it is locked. And we do have a big old question mark over there, so let's focus on getting to that. Alright, so up this way. Holy frickin' Apparently, Victor Frankenstein has an amazing amount of monsters just milling around his house. Not really doing much of anything, just kind of, um, hanging around. So, um, uh, hmm. Let's see. Another one of these things, and apparently the important thing is in the third floor bathroom. Exactly where you would expect it to be. So we have what could be a book, or possibly like a vial of something. 
Okay, we got a book. Now we have to go back there. I will say that um, this is an idea that could have been decent if the controls weren't so goddamn stiff. If you had a better idea of what you can and can't stand on. If you had a better idea of what you could and could not actually kill with your lightning powers. Just a big old laundry list of ways this could be made to not suck miserably. So what the hell do I do with a book? Why did I collect a book? No, 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 that's right, it's over here. Oh, I, d level key. Okay. D didn't even get to load the screen, just level key. <laughs> and what do I do with the level key? Which doors can suddenly be unlocked? And how do I get over there? It just brings me up that way. Wait, what? Now that's open. Where are we? I... what? <laughs> what? Again, I really wish I could move this map around so I could see better, but, um... Good freaking lord, the number of rooms that exist here! Now, before we go down that way... Do not remember that wall being there before, so maybe that's what the level key. Oh no, no! Now we are able to get up to floor two here. And yeah, there's nothing actually marked on floor two, or the bit of floor four that we could actually see. So I am <laughs> thinking. This will be a good place to, you know, stop playing this garbage. Because, um... I have literally no idea where to go next, or what I should even be trying to do next. So, yeah. <laughs> I think we can say... This has been Dr. Franken. And, you know, it's... Honestly, a pretty interesting idea. You know, the whole, you are apparently Frankenstein's monster in his pajamas, wandering around Victor Frankenstein's castle, running into all sorts of other ghosts and monsters and things, collecting bits of this and that for reasons. Can I get up here, maybe? Really doesn't... <laughs> it's like, I'm jump. Do I have a double jumper? <laughs> okay, don't care. We're done. No. Um, really would not recommend this in any way. So, um, yeah, this has been Dr. Franken. It's been basically crap, and we are completely done here. Alright, <laughs> let's see what else we got uh, waiting for us in here. Adventures of Batman and Robin on Game Gear. Well, this should be quite interesting, I think. <laughs> Let's uh, go ahead and see what we got. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a <laughs> Batman game. Kind of... Um, ups and downs when it comes to Batman games. Some of them are amazing, others are freaking terrible, but um, I think I remember this being pretty good. Let's find out. Ooh, level one is the Mad Adder. Throwing a C-list villain in the forefront. That is interesting. Okay, that's actually a pretty interesting, uh, plot there. I could see them actually doing that for the, um, 
television show. Okay, found the jump button, and uh, yeah. Jump is, I believe, the two button, and throw batarangs is the one button, so they are reversed from what they normally are, and that's kind of annoying. Although I would have to say that even more annoying is the fact that our uh, heads-up display there cannot stop flashing. Also amazingly annoying the fact that we have to be this close to the end of the screen in order to progress forward. Thought we had kind of gotten over that years before this. Oh man, we can't even... <laughs> We are stuck in the middle of the screen here. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought it was taking over with the cutscene, but nope, it was just a box that I needed to jump over. There. That works out. So, let's find out. Do I have other things? Batarang... Bat Bola, <laughs> and that's all for now. So, how do I, like, you know, grappling hook or what have you? There should be some way of getting up there. Uh, cannot go in the door. Oh! There's some sort of a double jump, which is just amazingly finicky about, uh, how and when it works. <laughs> I would love to see Batman doing this. after he delivers him, or his, uh, I am vengeance, I am the knight, I am bouncy man! Whee! <laughs> okay then. Can't glide or anything, so I guess we just have, uh, no fall damage. So how do we, um... Okay. That works, I suppose. Yeah, the jump is... Oh, we could've... <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so... <laughs> uh, can't get up there that I can tell. So let's go this way. Sort of a game of, um... Guess what you can stand on. There's things that look like they are background objects. Some of them can be stood upon, and, uh... Yeah, there is no real rhyme or reason which ones can and which ones can't. So yeah, this double jump thing really has some of... Oh my god, what? <laughs> so that's... A thing, I suppose. We found a grayscale Cheshire Cat, which I don't actually remember being in any of the episodes of the show. Which, you know, this is actually based on. Okay. Bakey? Is that like a password? I'm assuming. Because I don't recognize it as a word otherwise. I was kind of hoping to uh, continue forward until we got to the um, actual. Oh, hello. Impossibly thin card person. I guess they did say they were mechanical, so that actually does work out. But, um, yeah. <laughs> With these controls and everything being the way it is in this game, I really don't think I'm going to actually make it to the Mad Adder. 
I, I would have to say that, um... Yeah, this game is actually pretty terrible. <laughs> and the chains cannot be grabbed. Okay. Yeah, here's a hint, game makers. If you're gonna have, um, terrible controls for your double jump, don't make, you know, the entirety of the game rely on using that double jump to get around. It's not a good thing. Makes for really unfun gameplay. So apparently Batman is a cat now, he has nine lives. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's just try the Bat Bolo, why not? See if it's any different. Oh, apparently it's, um, super amazingly powerful. And it does appear that, uh, basically, each and every stage is going to be a maze of, you know, where do you go next? How do you get to the end? <laughs> No real explanation or indication given for where exactly the stage end is. Just sort of have to meander around until you find it. Or until you say, uh, screw this garbage, I have far better things to do with my time. Why am I wasting my time on this? And yeah, having a functional jump button would be a good way of, um, getting people to not go to that option. Also... Um... Um... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what even is this supposed to be? Like... I would almost think the caterpillar? But... That doesn't resemble a caterpillar in any way, shape, or form. So... Wow, dear frickin' lord. So I don't have the um, slightest clue how you're supposed to dodge this thing and also deal damage to it. But hey, we've managed to succeed. And yeah, that definitely is the password up there. So... Yeah, I am going to go... Oh wow, the, our health bar does not even refill when we complete a stage. There is a sign of some really lazy and terrible game design right there. Wow, yeah, we have played this for far too long. This has been The Adventures of Batman and Robin on the Game Gear. And I will say, The Adventures of Batman and Robin on the Genesis and the Super Nintendo, they are very different games, but they are both a pair of pretty freaking awesome games. This right here is a pretty freaking terrible game, and I really would not recommend this to anybody. So, yeah, um... <laughs> We are completely done here. There's really nothing else can be said. I have to admit to curiosity of... I would like to see A, the Mad Hatter, the actual villain fight. I would like to see what other villains they decided to include. Because when you lead off with the Mad Hatter, who else are they going to cram into this game? But... My dislike for bad games is actually outweighing my curiosity at this point, so yeah, totally done here. Well, let's go ahead and see what else we can get today. Ooh! Free pick on Game Boy Color yet again. Wow. Yeah, let's go do this again! Okay, so I have zero expectations that this will be any good at all. 
But, um, yeah. Eventually we will get to the title. There it is! Dracula! Crazy Vampire! With a name like that... Yeah, and this is actually approved by Universal. And hey, again, credits in the main menu. What a shocker. Okay. Different. A does nothing, B does nothing, select does nothing, start is a basic pause. Good to know. I love games where you move around and nothing else. Oh hey, we can run, so that's a thing at least. Where we are supposed to go and what we are supposed to do. How do we... How do we defend ourselves? So, um... for words. Like, I don't even. What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to do it? I'm just so happy to give you this news! And Dracula's just so happy to hear it! It's lucky that we randomly stumbled into this area. That looks like a witch over a bubbling cauldron to me. Not so much like Renfield. Look at that. Witch, bubbling cauldron, black hat, everything. Here we have a killed things counter. So how do we actually suck the energy out of a thing we've knocked out? Again, I am rather at a loss. I guess we're looking for a potion ingredient, but, um, I already forget what specifically we were looking for, and, um, yeah, no clue at all. Okay, we were able to drain energy off of him, so, yeah, just no animals for a crazy drac here. Feels like he should be, a, <laughs> a used car salesman with a name like that. why we are keeping a tally of all of the, uh, animals and, um, humans? Question mark, question mark, that, uh, we're killing. Okay, so we got spike pits. Is 
so you really would think we'd get uh, just a tiny bit more energy from um, sucking the blood from such a uh, big and burly person as uh, <laughs> all of these clones that we're running into. to look for a walkthrough to see if anybody has uh, tortured themselves long enough to figure out what to do in this... can we even call it a game? Oh! The answer to that is no. No FAQs exist on game FAQs. Awesome. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't really feel like wandering around completely lost for uh, any further amount of time. This seems like a really good time to just go ahead and say, this has been Dracula, Crazy Vampire. And I just found the potion ingredient, goddammit. <laughs> like I kind of got blocked off from where I entered from. Yeah, the odds of actually finding my way back to that witch that um, needed this potion ingredient, assuming this even is the potion ingredient in question. Odds are astoundingly low. Because, um... Yeah, it, it's basically freaking impossible to have any idea of, um... Like, unless you're actively mapping this out as you go. Just, um... Finding your way around and remembering where specific things are is very unlikely. <laughs> and that just save stated into a death, so yeah, now for real this time we can say this has been Dracula, crazy vampire, and this has been astoundingly terrible. So, would not recommend this to anyone, I hope that's not a surprise, and we are amazingly and absolutely done here. <laughs>